the excessive heat warning and the heat advisory both expiring here at 9 o'clock. That leaves us with what will be a very warm evening overnight tonight and even the potential here for the rumble of thunder. In the tropics, we've got the growing chances that Don has a neighbor with a name and or a number. I'm talking by Sunday, possibly into the start of the work week. 50 and a 70 percent margin now. And Don, that was looking pretty disheveled last night, has the room to grow here up to a 65 mile an hour tropical storm before it will start to weaken Sunday and the start of the work week. Let's talk about the timeline here for some of those showers and storms as early as around 1 to 2 in the morning across southeast Georgia. These will exit the beaches anywhere from around northern Duval in through the Amelia chain and northward at around 3 to 4 in the morning. The potential there for the rumble of thunder. Our next round at around the lunch hour to 1 o'clock across areas of southeast Georgia. That will fade away before we get to about 5 to 6 o'clock. And here we go again. Southeast Georgia drifting southward toward I-10 at around 8 o'clock and continuing to push south of the I-10 line at around 10 to midnight on Saturday, moving into early Sunday morning. Those rain chances 60 to 80 percent with quite a bit coming in late night and overnight from Saturday and Sunday. Monday still an unsettled pattern and we've got a hot week ahead as our temperatures continue to hover around the 90s. Humid conditions and you know the story. It's still going to feel like the triple digits. Your weather authority forecast always a click away at News for Jacks, a shout away on your favorite devices.